Good morning. better than a thousand elsewhere. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love so that, loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord God. Because you are haughty of heart, you say, a God am I. I occupy a godly throne in the heart of the sea. And yet you are a man and not a God, however you may think yourself a God. Oh yes, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that is beyond you. By your wisdom and your intelligence, you have made riches for yourself. You have put gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom applied to your trading, you have heaped upon your riches. Your heart has grown haughty from your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have thought yourself to have the mind of a God, therefore I will bring against you foreigners, the most barbarous of nations, they shall draw their swords against your beauteous wisdom. They shall run them through your splendid apparel. They shall thrust you down to the pit, there to die, a bloodied corpse in the heart of the sea. Will you then say, I am a god, when you face your murderers? No, you are a man, not a god, handed over to those who will slay you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of the foreigners, for I have spoken, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. It is I who deal death and give life. I would have said, I will make an end of them and blot out their name from men's memories, had I not feared the insolence of their enemies, feared that these foes would mistakenly boast. Our own hand won the victory. The Lord had nothing to do with it. For they are a people devoid of reasoning, having no understanding. How could one man rout a thousand, or two men put ten thousand to flight, unless it was because their rocks sold them, and the Lord delivered them up? Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people. On his servants he shall have pity. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle 
than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men this is impossible, but for God all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, the Jew who have followed me in the the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne in glory, will see yourselves sit on the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. Many who are first will be last, but the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. When Jesus comments that it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven, we all come to, well, shudder in some sense, because we know that, well, in comparison to so many in the world, we are people who enjoy a relatively, well, comfortable way of life. We have plenty, and yet we know that there are those who don't. Now Jesus is drawing his point, not because those who have worked hard and who have accumulated wealth to, well, deal with their own lives and retirement and things are evil people. But he's pointing out, really going back to that first reading from the prophet Ezekiel, to those of that time, entire in a particular way, who were, well, I mean, to be quite frank, they were business people who were not ethical. They extorted people. And they took the riches, and as the scripture says here in the first reading, you put gold and silver into your treasuries. And somehow they've become the very God that you worship, rather than the true God, the source of all being. And for this purpose, Ezekiel calls them out, and Jesus is doing just the very same thing for people of his time, that we can lose track of what our need is for a relationship with the divine. And in doing that, well, then we lose track of what we are called to be as Christians, that is, to love one another, to care not only for our own needs, but the needs of others as well those who are far less fortunate, who require some of our help from, well, to be quite frank, from our excess. And this is what Jesus is calling people to adjust their lives, to be mindful that we love not only our God, but our neighbor as ourself. Let us now gather our prayers on behalf of the needs of the world and bring them before our loving God. For the church, may God strengthen her in her mission of spreading the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For national leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in seeking to promote peace on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Holy Trinity Parish, especially those carrying on the legacy from Corpus Christi, Fort Dodge, and St. Patrick on the Lizard, 
that they may come with gratitude into this new chapter of our history for all the graces bestowed during the history of the parishes and all the gifts these parishioners bring to the new community woven as one. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For favorable weather, especially rain, during this growing season, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that God will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to persevere in faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, Pete Van Kirk and Krista Barbara Moroda, that they enjoy eternal life with our loving Father in heaven, and for the intentions of this Mass, Pete Van Kirk, Krista Barbara Moroda, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We join in our vocation prayer. God, our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious. As we entrust to your care all who seek to do your will, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become our, for us the bread of life. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, for the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints will please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
in communion and upon with the Lord there is mercy in him is plentiful redemption made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. <clears throat>